Hello there and welcome to this mini bite-sized edition of Wolford Weekly. My name is Rob, one of the hosts for your EastEnders podcast. Now, as you may be aware, Alex recently posted a video on YouTube which featured his tier list for every single regular character in EastEnders for 2020. You can find that video by following the links below and clicking on Alex's lovely face. But did I agree with him? Well, here's an extra segment from this week's regular podcast episode that we didn't have time to include featuring my tier list. Spoiler alert, I didn't totally agree with him. <laughs> now, Rob, uh-huh. I have issues. Let me know. What's anything in particular? <laughs> but this one, this one I can talk to you about. This week on our YouTube channel, my tier list for the characters of 2020 came out. And two and a half thousand people have watched it already. Mm. And lots and lots of people have sent us their tier list. But there's one that comes to mind that sticks out. Mm. What's that then? And that's from a, a guy called Rob. Who, right. who posted it on our Facebook group. Oh, he um, sounds cute. He's a nice enough guy. I mean, yeah. you know, he's comparable to many a movie star in, in Hollywood <laughs> today. But uh, but yeah, though, so basically, Rob, what I'm doing in a long-winded way is saying, let's yeah. discuss your tier list because everyone's yeah. seen my tier list on the YouTube channel. Link yes. now on the screen if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, yeah. And so they're probably sick and bored and tired of hearing what I have to say about the characters. I know what I am. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. So you, what you're looking at right now is Rob's tier Ooh. list on screen. I feel exposed. <laughs> yeah, so don't forget to comment below about what you think of Rob's tier list. And let's start off by saying... Mm. Kathy. Kathy is in Sharon's 1995 exit tier. She is, yes. I think no. that's perfectly complimentary. It's in the top two. It's our calf. Yeah. It's our calf. What has role. she done this year, Alex? Tell me that. What has she done this year? I'm not denying her iconicness, but what has she done this year? She's done lots. She's kept her like, family in line. She's looking after uh-huh. Peter, looking after Bobby. Not that she's doing no, a very good well, job of it. it? <laughs> yeah, she's not doing it's a great job well. at it. <laughs> she's running her own two businesses through a COVID crisis. Not that we'd know because she never attends either <laughs> of them. <laughs> she's uh, badly dubbing her lines while sitting in the garden <laughs> drinking a gin and tonic. Yeah. Yeah, what more can you want? A bit more. That's why she wouldn't go into. <laughs> I was watching your list and thought just how tight you were being about anybody going into the top and in... going into your top list. Now this is my thing. Julia's theme is they have to have a perfect year. <laughs> and I know you're uh, about to say, "But well, Kathy has." No, yeah. they have to have like that. Kathy ha- also has heritage on her side, in my opinion. If you're going to be right at the top of my list, you have to have you have to have wowed me. Almost every day that you're on the screen. And right. Sharon did that for me and so did Kathy. Why? What did Kathy do to wow you every single time she was on the screen? Just her gracing the screen is enough for her to be in the top tier. And plus last year, plus last year I think she deserved top tier, but I knocked her down um, because she was uh, giving drugs to Rainey. So I thought so so I thought this year, just to make up for the mistake I made last year, I'll I'll give her I'll give her a foot up. Just this once, I'll give her a foot yeah. up. But that's not to say she'll stay there. Twenty twenty one could be a completely different year. Or I she feel could... the same. You know, but if you're gonna talk about heritage, you haven't put Ian on the top of your list, and I'd argue it's been a bigger year for Ian than it has been for Kathy. And he's on neither of our top top list. So no, but then Ian isn't a character that I can relate to like I can with Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> She's my kindred well, spirit. <laughs> well, I'm she's your Patronus. Well, I, you know, I think I've given her a perfectly complimentary little place in my list. I have, I mean, how many people did you have in your in your uh, Julia's theme list? I had two. Right, well, I've got six. Yes. Well, come on, I still let's... don't think it's that many. So so let's list them. So you have yes. Ruby. Ruby, yes, because I think that she, she's just, I like, I, she's one of these that I just enjoy all her scenes. And I think she's extremely funny this year. Uh, she's very camp, which is always a good thing for me. I do like a camp female character. Uh, she's just, yeah, I've, I've just been very entertained by Ruby this year. Especially seen as though when she first came in, uh, when she first came back, I was kind of like, right, I get the story that they're doing with her, but what are we going to do with Ruby next? You know, what mm. is, what's Ruby's journey going to be? And now she's got a proper place in the square. She's interacting with lots of different characters. And I really like her. I think she's blossomed this this year has she interacted with a lot of characters though because for me yeah. all her story's been is stacy and martin no she yeah, but she doesn't do club. anything yeah but she just moans at billy and and um well, who do, so do you well, yeah true <laughs> but I, i'm allowed to i'm watching from the outside in ruby's ruby's an employee she's under like legal contracts and terms and conditions <laughs> Oh yeah, because Ruby follows all the legal <laughs> life, doesn't she? Mate, what about Stuart? I'm surprised you put Stuart at the top, but not Rainy. Yeah, I kind of like. I could say Rainy, I love, but I've I feel like I get Rainy, and I feel like I kind of 
I find Rainey a little bit more predictable than I do Stuart. When I'm watching Stuart, it's constantly kind of like, oh, what's, what's his next move going to be? What's he going to do next? And that kind of gets me really excited as a viewer. And all of his scenes are electric. And he's also one of my favourite characters. I just love Stuart. I think he's an amazing character. And I will say that I think what Kate Oates has done with Stuart in turning him more into, let's not say normal, but he's he's turned into more of a member of the community and it's happened fairly realistically and, she, and he's just become very likeable. But at the same time, you totally expect him to kind of go off the rails at any moment. So that makes him a very exciting character for me to watch, in mm-hmm. my view. Okay, Suki, I can, I, I understand why you put her at the top. I think, yes. you know, you and love she Suki. Ne- she will never leave there. <laughs> no, no, no. But, but also B- B- Bobby. I don't Bobby is you... one, I love Bobby. He's like one of my top three characters at the moment. Absolutely adore Bobby. He's a great character. Clay Milner Russell plays him to perfection. Uh, and yeah, he, he, King Bobby, long may he reign. I want to see much more of him next year. Um, and no, absolutely love Bobby. And Phil. No, Phil, I love Phil. I've <laughs> always said, for like modern modern day Phil, I just find so funny. Do you know what I mean? I think he is just probably unintentionally a lot of the time, but I, I always say that any scene with Steve McFadden in is just electric. And I just love Phil. And I love his interactions with people. And I love the fact that pretty much anybody can go into a scene with Phil and the scene is instantly a lot, lot better. Like, little random interactions that always work. You know, like Patrick turning up at Phil's today. You know, they've got a history there and it works. And Phil's got a history with a lot of people on the square. So most of the time, I love Phil's scenes. Okay, fair enough. Let's let's look at the... um... And Let's then look Sharon, at... obviously. Well, yeah, but yeah, you, we agree with Sharon, so that's yeah. fine. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at some of the ones you put near the bottom. The first one that yeah. I was really surprised at was Dennis. Did you not? Did you not I, like yeah, his ending? No. Well, no, it's not. It's not that I didn't like his ending. I just didn't. Wasn't that? Fu- fu- like, I get Dennis's role as a sort of legacy character in terms of his actual personality and character. I feel that his legacy and who he was were two very different things. If he was still on today, do you think that next year Dennis would have been? He'd probably be, he'd probably be getting the bin if he was if he was still there for me. To be fair, <laughs> oh right, I so I'm a fan of Dennis. I thought he was just a typical sort of mouthy, aggressive little Phil Mitchell protege that we've seen loads of times before. I don't think he had that much personality about him. Nothing to do with the actor. The actor was fine, but. I just, no, he just doesn't. He didn't float my boat, ironically. <laughs> uh-huh. So out of respect of him dying, you've kind of kept him out of the bed. Yeah, put him in incidental music. <laughs> yeah. incidental music Otherwise it would have been, he, he would have been in the get in the sea option <laughs> rather than anything else. Um, Frankie as well. I'm a bit surprised by that. I thought you liked Frankie in the oh, character. I do like her, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, right, so You're... now what? I mean, like it's been a while since we've seen her. I think she's coming back quite soon. Um, so I'm looking for maybe a little bit fairer would have been better like next year but she didn't like I get her story but I'm kind of like she doesn't excite me when she walks on the screen yet I'm optimistic with her but yet better not next year then yeah maybe fair if I was to move anybody in this entire list, it might be Frankie. <laughs> I'm also a bit surprised by your Corit, uh putting him in there. I thought you were on board the Corit train. You well, were starting a fan club. Yeah, we were got starting a fan fantasies. club and everything. I haven't got the van fantasies that you have. Um, <laughs> um, I, yeah, he's all right. I like him. I think Mayor's a fairly... Because, it, it, you know, at the end of the day... You know, aside from the fact that obviously Alex, he's the most gorgeous human being that ever walked the earth. Mm. Aside from that, what has he done this year to deserve a higher tier? If you were to remove all cosmetic side of him, he had that. I did the Chantel story. I thought, p- 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 yeah, no, he was very good there. He, which he, is why he's not in incidental music. He pulled his. Had, I would argue he's had more personality <laughs> injected into him than any of the other Panasar kids. Oh yeah, oh god, hundred percent. Sure. Which I think is why he's the highest out of the Panasar kids on my list I think does that have interest when you're working out uh, who you're putting where mm. on your tier list instinct do you... Alex it's, it's, it's instinct, instinct. It's, it's come it's, down to it I think of their name and I know in about five seconds where I'm going to put oh you just, you just bang that bang yeah. that bang, bang that, that you're done bang that yeah 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 oh right right bang so, no, this, to... bang that <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's you put them in the place and then you think about it afterwards and then yeah. maybe move them yeah bang first think later that's my motto right that's a good motto to have but to be fair a lot of people have been making good points when they've been uh, getting in touch with us about our tier list on YouTube. So um, it's, it's it's a real debate, isn't it? Because everyone always has mm. a favourite character and they go all over the place. But it's just being respectful. I mean, I jokingly said, oh, ha ha, you're, you're wrong. But no, oh, completely You're respectful. You should have heard him before he prefaced <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's a matter of like, that's that's how you see a character. Like you said, mm. let's use Kurit as an example. Or Kathy, let's use Kathy as an example. Mm-hmm. For me, Kathy is a queen, so she goes straight to the mm. top. And like you say, with instinct in mind, I just popped her straight to the top. Well, with mm. you, you kind of considered that, well, actually, no, Kathy done nothing. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah. she doesn't quite deserve oh, to be fair with your reasoning about kathy i'm surprised she's where she is on your list no no no, not at all like i say there was a huge amount of kathy as a queen involved in where she went on my list mm. but she didn't absolutely blow me away like the six people that were on my julia's team list so that was my tier list for the regular characters in 2020's EastEnders. But what about yours? Follow the link below to put together your own list and then send it to us because we'd love to hear your thoughts. Contact us on Twitter, Instagram at Wolford Weekly. You can find us on Facebook at Wolford Weekly Podcast. On YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell to get notifications about our spoiler videos. But you can listen to us on Apple, Podbean, Spotify or any of your favourite podcast sites. We'll be back on Sunday for your next edition of Wolford Weekly. Until then, take care and goodbye.